Greetings and salutations! It's finale day! After our many challenges, you have made it to the final three! Give it a try. Let's do it. What was that? Oh, poor Nanimate! Looks like it escaped Mephone's horrifying challenge! That's right! We felt your woes! A beautiful game designed to go on forever, tainted by a manipulative phone who's burning away all that was once perfect! Walkie here saved me after I tried to help. I was giving it everything he wanted! <laughs> uh, Springy! I didn't do this until I met him. I didn't look like this until I met him. He's a monster, and his sheep would fall off a cliff for him. Hi there! Hmm, but if this one feels the same way as us, she won't be the only one. Wanna command something other than toys? Oh, yes, yes, yes! It's time to watch me phone's rain melt away! <laughs> what, what? How am I to enjoy my finale day meditation with this volume? How are you so relaxed? We're about to face the jury! No matter what work we've put in over the course of the game, it'll all be for nothing if we can't explain ourselves properly. And I'm not leaving that up to improvisation. <laughs> Oh. Did I stumble upon the final three composition in which I am the only one gifted with language? <laughs> we're gifted. Just when uh, w w words are uh, for when words are formatted for looking at and uh. Don't hurt yourself. Soon it'll be you with egg on your face. When you're milking your limited arguments. To curry favor with the jury. Well, now you're just making up phrases. <laughs> Gift of language right here. But. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations! Uh, uh, why am I not used to that by now? Sorry, I, I just finished preparations on the set and it hit me. This is the actual final day. So weird, right? Very. All right, cold feet, I get it. Just in theory, of course. Uh, but I I'm proud of you for letting your baby bird fly off. Need me to bring anything over? Like this four folder? Uh, no, all fine and good. Just some personal scrap thoughts from me, me phone four. Sure, all right. Then it's all in your hands then, which I get. In theory. Are you ready? In theory. Thanks, Flory. <clears throat> Greetings and salutations. I'm your host, Walkie Talkie, and this is a call for all members to rendezvous. On the count of three, let's move out. Welcome to your final elimination time. Except here, instead of punting one of you into the stars, one of you becomes a star and will be crowned our season's winner by your peers. It's examination time. Ta -da. Now that's a song. Take it all in. Ugh, oh, just one more time. On the original Sinkers, I was here all the time. But, you know, who would have guessed that I could tough it out and be the last one standing, writing down nearly all of their names from Blueberry to Nickel. I'm just worried that the jury might not take all of that seriously because they see me as soft. So, best I can do today is illustrate my exciting tale poetically. Although I'm up to my top shelf with stress, wow, I can't believe I made it here. I just need to remember that whatever happens, I've been through worse. I had to make it all the way here after being eliminated, burned by someone I thought I had really bonded with, which is my fault for how I came across. But I've learned how to be better, and I'm ready to make it up to all of them. <sighs> Woo! We made it! 
Yes, we made it! <laughs> All the proper planning and brilliant blind sights have brought me to my final duel with a couple of dunces. Unlike them, I used the viewer voting to sway the competition. I led the thinkers and the loony balloonies to victory, switching sides as I pleased. And now I am equipped with superpowers that'll be sure to make me an iconic victor. First I slew OJ, the former king, and now his throne is prime for the taking. And the first contestants to make it to the end since season one? Oh, well, let's not bring that up. What a disaster. Oh, uh, what happened? A new villainous me phone showed up. A contestant escaped containment and went on the attack. A finalist ended up being secretly deceitful and British. Oh, yes, an icon. And then they all collided at the cliff where they all exploded. Me phone 4 sacrificed himself to save me phone. <laughs> The lone survivor. Uh-huh, that's me. Anyway, forget season one and season two. It's happy invitational finale time, baby. Let's bring in your jury. Fan, Life Ring, OJ, Box, Tea Kettle, Clover, Goo, Test Tube, Paintbrush, Candle, Bot, Yin Yang, Blueberry, and Nickel. As you all can see, Box has recovered tremendously and has earned himself the immunity ribbon. May he never die again, hopefully. And then there's the three of you who decided to leave Indefinite Island early. Fan, OJ, and Paintbrush. There's no greater crime in reality TV than a quitter. There will be consequences. Yeah, I, huh? You can listen, but I don't want to hear a peep from you. <laughs> What? After my whole epic voyage to Hotel OJ and sudden return? And, and now you're gonna yell, I said not a peep? I said not a peep. Without further ado, let us begin. Before our jury begins questioning, we will first allow our final three to each make an opening statement. Would you like to start us off, Silver? Of course, thank you, sir. <coughs> When I was born... You get 15 seconds. Uh, lovely to see you today, Jerry. I would just like to say it could have just as easily been any of you sitting here tonight. You were incredible, worthy competitors. And tonight, I am humbled to sit before you all. Balloon? When I was born... Balloon! Born into the game two seasons ago, I still had a lot to learn. I was but a clay doll looking to be shaped. But I had no one to craft me. No one but myself. <clears throat> so, while it started messy, I think you'll see that after three times out here, my craft has evolved! If you mean your analogy craft, yes indeed! What is he doing? And Cabby. My goal today is to show that I'm not the same Cabby who was eliminated 11 challenges ago. I don't want to underplay this all as just a game. It's our lives, our connections, and I'm sorry for the uneasiness I have made some of you feel along the way. How very polite, but now the mushy stuff is over because it's on to the jurors who surely have boundless fury over their vote offs to unleash. Who's ready with the first question? Yeah, I have one for Balloon. While it was nice hearing about your three season old mold or whatever, do you actually think you played as well as a three time player should? Oh, well, uh, here's the thing. You can think of each of my times playing as a new presentation, if you will. <laughs> first, Dark Mask Balloon. Then, Scorched Earth Balloon! And now I have evolved into Balloon Prime! So, in a sense, Balloon Prime has only played once. Hmm, <laughs> feels like it. Sorry, I thought you were a murderer, okay? Cook better food! Okay, let's keep it going. Cabby, I think it's wonderful when we try to change and grow, but I don't recall any point at which you were particularly malicious or anything. Silver, I pushed you off a cliff. But that was so fun! I would have done the same to you! Ooh. What? Wait, I also am confused. Cabby was so sweet to me and never, ever betrayed us or made us feel like losers. Is that to say someone else has made you feel this way? Oh no, Yin, she's on to us. Well, I think it was right to apologize, Cabby. Thank you. Of course. I'm not asking for your forgiveness, but I hope you are aware that I'm sorry for who I was. Eek. Let's just let out that awkward air. Oops, guess it's a final two. <laughs> 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 
So much growing and changing and loving. <laughs> but I remember when this was a simpler game. When we just played as ourselves from day one. Allow me to be the single straightforward one here. There's never been a second where I wasn't me. In control of everything. Hey. Oh, of course. Aside from your brilliant reign of the game. And of course, OJ and Paintbrush's leadership of the old and new thinkers respectively. You all left your impacts on the game. <gasps> And me? Especially you, Goo. Well, uh, Balloon has done everything Silver did and more. He couldn't even take out his best friend, Candle. Balloon did that in a crazy blind side. And then he took me, his closest ally, out in the big final vote. Go on, talk to them all about it. Oh, 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 oh right, in a grandiloquent blind side, I turned against the loony balloonies, despite the namesake, and extinguished a candle's flame. Not unlike when I and my greatest ally, Nick, exchanged blows at the penultimate vote. Uh, yeah, I just said that. Maybe talk to them like yourself? But nobody wants that. Ooh, Snoresville over here. Can we hear about some exciting gameplay? What about you, Cabby? You were a real fighter on a definite island and beyond. Oh, right. Well, I, I don't have anything on gameplay exactly. I figured that's what everyone knew me for early on, but uh, I reassembled the original thinkers, w which which was a team effort, and Yin Yang and I tricked the loony balloonies with the immunity milk, which says nothing about their lack of intelligence. And with you, Life Ring, I, I, I realized it was okay to use my files, d d depending on the circumstance. Uh, uh, bleh, sorry for- Don't. Don't say you're sorry. You played a great game, Cabby. You don't owe anything to anyone. Maybe aside from getting our time back for that speech, right? <laughs> if we're talking strategy, I used the viewer vote to blindside Eye Eye's former king, I carried Candle over to the Looney Balloonies for my new reign, and I acquired the immunity cookie twice without having to win a single challenge. Did someone say social game? Whoa, seriously? And beyond that, my triumphs resulted in... My inner flame! My mastery is... Rising! <laughs> right on the verge of mastery! Is this another trick of yours? No, it's true. He's almost as powerful as me. Anyone else with a question? Anyone want to keep this going? I think I've heard enough. It's obvious who's been playing the best game out here. Silver Spoon. The inner flame is a power of great importance to the world and to me. It isn't some party trick to be strewn about to boost your own disgustingly self-inflated ego. You will not be receiving my vote tonight. None of that! <laughs> I appreciate your input, Candle. However, if I have achieved the admiration of the majority, I suppose I could live without your single vote. Our flames need not be entwined. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know what's gonna one-up that, but any other last second questions? Oh yes, Goo, give us one of your uh, stupidly long rambles. I'll do you one better. <sighs> Is a chicken an animal or a bird? Excuse me? Bird! Wait, I'm getting confused with penguins. Are we allowed to say both? Because it's, it's both. Minus three points. Okay, should have left on a high note. All right, while I'm sure you're all ready to vote and bring the season to an end, I have just one more twist. Wouldn't it be great if we could ensure that it's a happy ending for everyone? We all get to split the prize equally? I said everyone, not you. The jury will have the incredible opportunity to come together to figure out who should win with a unanimous vote. No winner will be declared until everyone is in agreement, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> uh, me, me phone's just kidding, everyone. The jury will meet in the jail and will be freed only upon their final decision. The game has evolved! Let's go! Good luck! Does Miphone really expect us all to agree on this? We're doomed. Before today, I was considering Balloon, but now, I think the one who's earned it the most is... <sighs> 
silver? It really hurt when he betrayed the thinkers, but maybe that's the stuff you gotta reward in a game. No way! Don't fall for his full gold, you fools! Cabby's the only one who has an inch of kindness! What? Balloon's personality is nice. You can't take away the one thing he has. Anyone considering Balloon other than Nickel? It's a consideration. Balloon's been through a lot across his three seasons, but hey, I can also appreciate Silver's eye on the game. And what about Cabby's? Yeah, I was hoping you two would work it out after I left. Oh, and sorry, I, I guess I missed a mid-season debut. What's your name? Bot. Bot! Oh, th th there's so much I want to... Uh, uh, hello? Hello. Hello. I would like to inform you that if you don't vote for Silver Spoon, you're all stupid loser babies with no respect for utter alphas. Excuse me? Alpha me is not that! And Cappy is the smartest player in the world! Balloon was in charge of like three alliances. Meanwhile, Cabby's lucky to be back after getting eliminated. And? That just means she had to try harder than anyone! You and Balloon got so caught up in your drama that the three of us had to do some floating orb tiebreaker! Cabby's the only choice that makes sense! Screaming back! What is this? What you expected the big final day to look like? With finding myself word vomiting to the confusion of everyone and the world falling apart as a result of my inadequacies? More or less. This is why monarchies exist. Ah, healthy debate. Isn't it beautiful? This time we can have an ending where everyone wins. Sometimes we just need to stretch it out to, uh, to make sure I can finally get it right. A season that goes perfectly. Today we'll figure out the perfect winner and the perfect prize and without losing anyone. Me phone? Wait, what was that about the prize? Huh? I, I, I didn't mean, uh... No one gave me funding for a cash prize, so I never exactly... Sp sprinkles? Ugh, not this guy. What? Did he find me? And... and oh. Me phone! Can't disturb us now in do not disturb mode. <gasps> Me phone's powerless. Y'all could get out now. Let us go! Ah! <laughs> I thought you just wanted a hand. It's the least I could do after all that you've given me. <laughs> Springy? But how? <laughs> it wasn't easy, but I had a little help from someone who'd never throw me away. Welcome to the metamorphosis of inanimate insanity. Congratulations, you're finally freed. One of us, likely I, was going to be awarded some sort of prize. We don't need your freeing. Oh, it's not your fault. It's too big for you all to see. You all worship a monster who doesn't care a bit about you. Sure he says he wants to give you a prize. Sure he says he wants to push you all to overcome challenges. But at the end of the day, even when you achieve your purpose, it's not enough. Maybe we can talk about it. Hmm. No. Come on in, pals! <laughs> and now, of course, the piece de resistance. Quite literally. Bodie? It's alive? Of course. No thanks to your careless host. We're here to bring him to justice. He's used this promising show to hurt us and the poor contestants he's invited to this so-called paradise. We are here to remove him from power and bring the show to its proper glory. We are the Unvitational Committee, and we can make this show with or without me phone. We have the technology. And if there's no cooperation, the contestants too. Okay, keep low. We need to analyze the scenario. Wait, where's Flory? 
<laughs> oh, 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 not so mighty now, oh, little guy. Sorry to say, this was inevitable. Nothing good comes to those who help him. You can say thank you to Grosker for the helpful tips on wrangling you all up. Mephone sent over 16 insightful episode screeners. You know, before he defiled the sanctity of our organization. Do you know how delicate our reputation is? Oh, couldn't be more delicate than these little insects. Working so hard oh, to do a dance and woo their jury. <laughs> like they've accomplished anything beyond upsetting everyone around them. We've disarmed me, phone, Clover, the floor. Now where's- You! Be alert. Dr. Fizz, prepare to drench her flame. But, but the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. Um, how about you worry about the hypocritical oath who doesn't give a darn about any ethics? Incredible. Taking the spotlights. What are you doing? I can help her. Yeah. I didn't think you were ready, but since you're here, please grab me phone and bring him to safety. Silver? After all we've been through! After his hours upon hours of training! Because he trusted that you believed in him! Uh, it's not the time for this! Please, don't let your flame cloud your mind. <laughs> right when I finally felt like more than nothing, you wish. You should feel fortunate Silver came to save us. You almost didn't get to learn the truth. What do you mean? There's no time for that! Stop! Oh, that's okay. Only one of you two can pop. Huh? Ah! That was very brave of you, Balloon. But I don't know when or if Mephone's going to be able to recover again. We're not letting you take him. Even after some information, I figured you, of all people, would appreciate that. Read it. We found this at his desk. Plans for a season four. An escape from this escape where he can start all over again. Looks like there was going to be a unanimous vote that would lead to three finalists in charge of next season's team. No ending for your journey here, because if he ended this one, he'd realize that he's ready to go back to the last one he ditched out on. Sorry you had to find out like this. The show is broken because he's broken. And the only way to save the show is to stop him. Hey, don't listen to her, guys. It's not like that anymore. Balloon! Gabby! Now that you understand, will you stand down? 